Hey guys, it's Saga from Techworks. If you are planning to get the iPhone XR, chances are that you might be using the iPhone 7 or an even earlier model. And you might be wondering how much better the camera on XR is compared to the phone that you are using. So in this video, we will compare the camera on the iPhone XR with the camera on the iPhone 7 and see how much of an improvement are you getting. Both the phones have single cameras at the back and the specs on both might seem similar at a quick glance but there are numerous improvements on the camera of the iPhone XR, both hardware and software wise. Both the phones have 12 megapixel camera with f1.8 aperture, but the iPhone XR has a much bigger sensor where the size of each individual pixel is 1.4 micron. iPhone 7 has a 28mm lens, whereas the XR has a slightly wider 26mm lens, and cameras on both these phones are optically stabilized. iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max share the same exact primary camera iPhone 7 has HDR functionality, but thanks to Apple's A12 Bionic chip, iPhone XR has the power of Apple's new computational photography algorithms, and it can take portrait mode images even though it just has a single lens. On the iPhone 7, you can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second, 1080p videos at 30, 60, and 120 frames per second, and 720p videos at 240 frames per second. iPhone XR lets you shoot 4K videos at 24, 30 and 60 frames per second and 1080p videos at 30, 60, 120 and 240 frames per second. Both the phones have 7 megapixel front facing camera with f2.2 aperture, but the iPhone XR is also capable of taking portrait mode images and shooting 1080p 60fps videos. Now with the specs out of the way, let us check out the image and video samples from both these smartphones. But before that, Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the amazing videos coming up on this channel. All the images have been shot with Smart HDR on the iPhone XR and HDR on the iPhone 7 turned on. iPhone XR has a slightly wider lens of the two, so you can get a bit more of the scene in your shot. The sensor on the XR is also much larger than the one on the iPhone 7, so it can capture more information. As a result, its images show a bit more detail. Starting with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus last year, Apple changed the way that they process colors in their images. So while the colors from iPhone XR seem more saturated and vibrant, it is the iPhone 7 which actually shows more accurate and true to life colors. That being said, I bump up the saturation a bit in almost all of the images that I added, so I prefer the puncher looking colors from the iPhone XR. Now Smart HDR is one of the best addition to this year's iPhones. And as you can see in these images, it offers an amazing dynamic range. It stacks up multiple images with various exposures and uses some smart algorithms to reduce the overall noise from these shots. As a result, we get much better HDR shots compared to any of the previous generation iPhones. From these images, it is clear that the iPhone XR brings up much more details from the shadows while preserving the highlights. In almost all of these shots, we see richer colors, better details, and a better dynamic range from the iPhone XR. But I am not saying that the iPhone 7 isn't good enough. I feel that the camera on the iPhone 7 is better than many of the current Android smartphones in the market. Hit the like button if you want to see me compare the camera on the iPhone 7 with something like OnePlus 60 or even other Android smartphones. Before we move on to the close-up and macro shots, here is a quick focusing test between both these smartphones. Now there are twice the amount of autofocus pixels on the iPhone XR compared to last year's iPhones. So it also means it should be much faster than the iPhone 7 at this. There is a noticeable speed difference, but only if you compare them side by side. What is more apparent is the way in which both of them switch the focus. Look at this video from the iPhone 7. The transition in focus is not smooth. It's as if it is gradually changing the focus in steps. Whereas on the iPhone XR, the transition is not only faster, but also much smoother, giving the video a very smooth flow. Quick and accurate focusing is important while taking these close-up shots. Thanks to a very wide f1.8 aperture, the background in these close-up shots is blurred out very nicely, leaving the subject in sharp focus. Tanar's images handle the exposure in the background properly, and thanks to slightly punchier colors, its images look slightly better overall. All these are close-up shots and not portrait shots, and all the blurring of the background is due to optical lenses and not achieved via software. Speaking of the portrait mode, iPhone 7 cannot take images in this mode. But even with its single camera, iPhone XR can. It is really good and accurate at detecting the edges and separating the subject from the background. For some reason, 
It won't allow you to take portrait images of objects and pets via the native camera app. But there is a workaround for that and you should watch my dedicated camera review of the iPhone XR which I will leave a link to in the description to know more about this. Now moving to indoor shots in artificial lighting conditions, both the cameras still continue to impress. iPhone XR continues to show better dynamic range thanks to smart HDR but the iPhone 7 is also doing a pretty good job in most of these shots. As you move to taking images in even lower light, XR ends up capturing more details of the two. It also captures less noise which is a result of having larger physical sensor and the better image processing on Apple's latest A12 Bionic chip. If you zoom in, images from the iPhone XR are also sharper when compared side by side to the images from iPhone 7. And as I've pointed out before, it also shows better exposure thanks to smart HDR working in these situations as well to make sure that the images are evenly lit. Just look at how well the XR handles the brighter areas which are almost completely blown out on the iPhone 7. In this image from the iPhone 7, you just cannot make out what is written with the light on the wall. But it is clearly visible in the image from the iPhone XR. Here are some more low light shots so you can see the difference for yourself. Coming to the front facing camera. Well again the camera hardware might not be too different on both these phones but the resulting images surely have a lot of differences. Images from the iPhone XR seem slightly detailed and they also show much better skin tones. Overall colors and exposure from the shots are also better from the XR since it is using the same smart HDR algorithm on this selfie camera as well. Low light selfies from both these phones are not the best or most detailed but the ones from the iPhone XR show a bit less noise. On XR you can also take portrait selfies where the subject is in sharp focus and background is blurred out. It is pretty accurate at detecting the edges but it might miss certain parts of your hair on occasion. Hopefully this mode will be getting better with each software update. Here is a video sample with the front facing camera of the iPhone 7 and the iPhone XR. Frame on the iPhone XR is a bit cropped in but it is showing better dynamic range and overall better stabilization in this video. Video capture on the iPhone 7 tops off at 4K at 30fps but you have the option to shoot 4K 60fps videos on the iPhone XR. Both these phones offer stabilized videos thanks to optical image stabilization and Apple's cinematic stabilization. XR is much better than the iPhone 7 at handling the abrupt changes in exposure while shooting these videos. For slow motion, XR can shoot 240fps videos at 1080p resolution whereas the iPhone 7 can only shoot 120fps videos in 1080p resolution. So after looking at these image and video samples, we know that the iPhone XR has a better and improved camera especially for lower light. Daylight images also show a bit of improvements especially in terms of details and dynamic range. And if you like taking portrait shots, XR is the only one between the two capable of doing that. If you are looking to buy a new phone, then iPhone XR should be your obvious choice of the two. You get a much better camera, more color options, premium build, wireless charging, faster internals and a much bigger display. But if you are already using the iPhone 7 and you are not sure whether you should make the switch, I suggest you guys go back to the start of the images, mute the video, watch it in the highest resolution that your device or internet bandwidth supports and even then, if you find it difficult to point out the differences in images between both these phones, then you can probably keep on using your iPhone 7 for another year. But if the differences are very apparent to you in most of the images, then it is time for you to make the switch. So, after looking at these image and video samples, what do you guys think about the cameras on both these phones? Let me know in the comments. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.